Well, let's go live to the ECG now where Kerry O'Keefe joins us. Kerry, good morning and welcome back to Cricket AM once again. As a cricket lover and, of course, a lover of the ECG, how difficult is it to hear words like that from Ravi Ashwin that says Sydney's the worst place for it? Yes, Jim. Look, it was unsavoury yesterday. Could I make a couple of points on the racism slur that has occurred? When you come to Test Cricket, you come to watch the best of one nation play the best of the other nation. It's elite sport. It's entertainment. It's not stand-up comedy where you feel you have the right to heckle the entertainer. Sledging is the most overrated aspect of Australian sport. Young fathers bring their children to the game. It's a cyclical thing. If they see antisocial behaviour in the stands, they feel that is the way to conduct themselves. It's wrong. I've been involved in the game for over 60 years. I've never seen a, a more overrated aspect of cricket than sledging. As a nation, we are absolutely consumed with it. I played 24 tests for Australia. One of the very first questions I get from people is what's, what's the best sledge you've ever heard? 24 tests as a proud Australian cricketer and they want to know the best sledge. Grow up. When guys get together at a cricket match, it's a game of one-upmanship in the stands. Who can come up with the most stinging one-liner? It's boorish. And you cross the line as may have been crossed yesterday. 95% of sledging is unfunny. A huge percentage of it is personal abuse dressed up. Get over it. We are more mature than that. We are better than that. And we've got to start now. Very, very well said, Kerry. I couldn't agree with you more. It, sitting there yesterday, I'm not sure how you felt, but uncomfortable, I think, was probably uh, the first emotion. And then frustration. You don't want for it to happen, nor do you want it to overshadow a series that's been played in such good spirit? Yes, look, um, Ravi Ashwin's point, I'm sorry, Jim, I just missed that. Just in terms of, um, you, you, you felt uncomfortable sitting there watching it, but you just hope we do all learn, as you mentioned, but also um, you want to make sure that it doesn't overshadow what's been a great series played hard but fair. Oh, absolutely. The standard of the cricket during this series has been stunningly good. These are two high-class teams, and it's just the, the biggest shame that something in the stands is threatening to spoil it. It's what happens out in the middle of Test cricket that should be the yardstick for the game. And sadly, with this incident yesterday, it's been taken away. We will get to the cricket because there's a lot to talk about, but just on the fellow in the middle of it as well, Mohamed Siraj, look, he stayed with the team and toured despite the death of his father just uh, a little over six weeks ago. Do you fe fear, though, that the pressure that these incidents do have on a team already where patience is wearing thin may carry over to next week in their thoughts of will they or will they not go to Brisbane? Yeah, well, this is, this is a problem for them again, isn't it? They've been terrific. They've been stoic through all this bubble. They've endured the personal tragedies. Um, and this, again, is, is a slight against them. I can understand where they're at, but there's one test to play. Let's just hope it goes ahead.